let's see if we can find a dinosaur. Are you going to walk? Alright, I'm going to put these in here. Do you want to say good morning? Morning, everybody. Good morning. Really fast. Oh, good. Yeah. Are you really fast too? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's go. Keep going fast. <sighs> too fast. Some quick pickups. Oh, how? Oh, wow. It's a doggy. Hi, doggy. Hi. Are you going to be on our YouTube channel? You are now. You came into this mess. All right, Eddie. This way. <laughs> you decided yes. this. That's celebrity. Hi. Hi. Okay, girl, come on in. Go. Cool. So we got a couple things real quick. This unique old goose down jacket for five bucks. Should be able to get like 25, 30 for it. Um, these Sorel boots for eight bucks should get about 20. They're like new. Look at these two, just running around. Just I didn't running around. Hard to win against fast girl town. That's right. Uh, a couple North Face jackets for 10 each, 215. Uh, ask for 10 each. They're like new. Boys, about 30 to 40 plus strip each with this uh, thermal ball thing in them. What'd you get? Coloring pens. You got some coloring pens. Fantastic. Red, 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 blue. red and blue. But we don't have any more colors. No, just red and blue? Yeah. Okay, well, that's all right. But with red and blue, you can make. What happens when you mix red and blue? You make purple. purple. That's right. Awesome. And then Mama got some clothes in here too. Uh, looks like some LL Bean, uh, some sweaters. I'm sure it's good stuff. Yeah, Eddie Bauer. Some Eddie Bauer. Oh, nice. Those yeah. are nice. Uh, and then an extra car seat because we're always jumbling one. So for 15 bucks. Yeah, worth, worth it. Worth it. We'll leave that here. We're gonna hop in a car, uh, drop Jessica off, and my parents. Uh, keep going with some garage sales. I'll definitely show you guys some highlights as we find them. Afterwards, go to the shop, do our packaging for the day, and we'll go from there. So tag along for some garage sales. Let's go. On the hunt. Oh, there it is. Not too much at that sale, but picked up these Salomon uh, rollerblades for five bucks. And these uh, ABEC uh, DBXs for another five bucks. While we're driving to our next destination, I am trying to keep up with delisting things off of eBay that are selling on Posh. Every time I'm looking something up, I see a notification that somebody else accepted and bought something on Posh. This morning, we sent out bulk 20% offers to all our watchers, and it's having a great effect. Like I said, we are selling a bunch this morning. It's only 10.48, and so far we've made Eleven sales on Posh, so that's pretty good. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. We're just kind of winging it this morning. Uh, started a little bit late. Just finished uploading another video. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. That was uh, all Melinda over there selling a lot more stuff on Posh <laughs> using the uh, closet clear out uh, yeah. tool that I never heard of. And quite frankly, when she told me about it, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. So he asked me. So he asked me like yesterday morning. I'm like, are you gonna do that thing you did again? on Poshmark and I was like, mm, I can because it's not closet clear out. And he's like, ha. Huh. Yeah, I don't, that's yeah. great job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. So uh, I'll definitely keep my eye open for more closet clear out days. Do they announce it? Do you know? Yeah, Probably. so it pops up in your notifications on Poshmark. Um, if you, it's bumpy. It's bumpy. Uh, like on your news mark, if you're doing it from the mobile app, there's always that banner up at top where they're running stuff, like specials, things like that. And it'll say, closet clear out is back. Uh, and that's how you know it's running. It's, it's usually for about a day, 
ish you know they don't run it for like a long period of time um so keep your eye open for it yeah Have you shown the uh, no, I haven't, but back to the uh, the golden days in here, we have a whole bunch of Revere Wear Monda found on the $2 table, which is kind of crazy. And then these are, you want to show them those? Well, is it just is it this one? No, it's that and all of the stuff around it. So some of you might recognize this stuff. Creepy crawlers. Yeah. Uh, so these, I've never heard of it, but as soon as I saw the vintage toy, I looked it up and they actually, they're like these metal plates. And Melinda can tell you more about them because she actually played with them. I didn't. We never had them. Oh. You know, they were boy toys. But I saw the commercials. I thought they were really cool. You basically just like make your own like creepy crawlers, like, you know, rubber gooey things. Yeah. So, nice. They always looked cool. I'm Men have fun with them. Oh, we did, or some some did. Yeah, so we uh, she only wanted five bucks for the entire bag of things, and it's pretty wild. Maybe we can test it first. Yeah, maybe. Just you know, put that childhood wish to bed. Yeah. That's fine. How about the classic Revere Wear find? I just walk up to Melinda, and Melinda's just holding like a whole <laughs> handful of them. Yeah. She, the lady was like, what are you going to do with them? Cook it off? And <laughs> so we told her that we buy and sell, so she knows what we were going to do with them. So as you guys know, uh, we're primarily selling shoes and clothes, but we can't pass up these good deals. So we are still trying to figure out what we're going to do with this type of stuff. Obviously, we're going to keep tally of what we buy uh, for accounting reasons. And then it'll be kind of like our side hobby, right? Or like our hobby, like we'll have a side hustle of reselling with the main um, business being reselling, <laughs> which kind of sounds weird, but that's the reality of it. Uh, the creepy crawler stuff, that might be a couple hundred dollars score if we broke them up individually. Um, but I just did a quick search and uh, it seems like the molds are really desirable. And when I just typed in uh, creepy crawlers, it was like 650 listings available and like 570 sold in the last 90 days. So definitely a lot of demand for them. And for $5, I mean, I even told the lady, it's like, how am I supposed to negotiate? Like, what, what, what am I supposed to say, 450? And she's like, no, I'm glad you didn't. So uh, anyways, great score. Uh, off to the next one. We're still making sales on Posh. Every time I look back, I'm like, oh, we made another sale. Oh, two more sales. Oh, there's another sale. Uh, I'm a little bit behind on taking them down, so now I'm just crossing my fingers so nobody buys it on eBay before I find it. So, it is what it is. Not a bad problem. It's not even noon yet, and I think we're like 15 or 16 sales in or something like that. Yeah. There's Very happy with that. a couple uh, more garage sale signs. So, this part of town, this is uh, like 44th Street. Uh, Wyoming. Wyoming. So, we're like minutes away from our office, which is nice as we're gonna unload all of this stuff, show you guys some of the highlights when we get there. I think there's two more right here. I hope so. Yeah. A black sign and a pink sign, that usually means two. Oh yeah, because here's the black ones and there's the pink ones. We're gonna go black. All right, and then pink. That one didn't really have anything great. I picked up like a couple like very basic clothing pieces. They only wanted 50 cents each. Some of it was active wear that I'll just lot up and, and sell for, um, what did I say the other day? Quick and, uh, Quick and decent quick and for decent. quick and decent, quick and decent sales. Quick and decent. Yeah, uh, we're. I think there's one more that we're on the hunt for the sign for in this neighborhood, and then we'll probably head in and do some packing. No, not yet. No, 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 no. We're gonna keep going. I guess we're gonna keep going. Yeah, it's fun. Is it not fun? Kind of fun. It is fun. It's like uh, you know, it's vintage uh, Hustle and Hooks. There it is. Do you see the pink sign? There it is. Do you see it? This one is gonna be bonkers. <laughs> got a feeling? You just uh, got a feeling? I don't know. We finally made it to the garage sale with the pink sign. We had actually been there last year. They recognized us and uh, Dean remembered that too. I didn't I didn't remember that, but it seemed kind of familiar after he said that. They had some good clothes. I got a Patagonia dress for three. We got some Torrid pieces. 
a lot of their stuff was just you know market value though so we left a good amount on uh, no big deal so we'll probably see them next year and <laughs> out of the next one <laughs> oh look another garage sale same neighborhood we're not sure if we've already been to this one though so we'll <laughs> see did we just no this is new yeah. this is a new one all right lots here we of go. cardboard ah Hmm. Oh, oh uh, returns. Yeah. No We're, thanks. Yeah, let's just, we can just pan over with the camera. Want to explain what that was, Adine, and why we didn't stop? Uh, I didn't like the way that lady looked at me. That's why I didn't <laughs> stop. Uh, no, it's uh, obviously... Like pallet returns. Yeah, look, I mean, Amazon. just pan over. Mona's all nervous and stuff, like they're going to come attack us. I'm going to just slowly creep by them. Oh, this just is... kidding. Just, yeah, it's just, it's obvious, right? So they have the U-Haul there, they have a bunch of boxes. Mona's... <laughs> <laughs> what are you so nervous about? It's fine. Uh, it's Amazon return stuff, so. Yeah, not worth it. We know the game. I know. Good for them. Right. Um, not gonna find any creepy crawlers there. Nope. Find some nice Nespresso machines. <laughs> A lot of Nespresso <laughs> machines. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe the next one then. So my no here's my notifications. Just a little, a little quick glance. Congrats! Congrats! Added to the bundle. Added to a bundle. Congrats! counter offer all this in a span of like five minutes i don't know what it is man if it was like the timing we sent these offers out or what but i'm not complaining i'm not complaining by any means good thing that's what i'm i'm amazed at how good it's going i mean yeah it's nice it's close to 20 sales already on poshmark alone and a lot of this stuff is like ten dollar profit items so it's not like you yeah. know yeah nothing to get rich off of but it's the volume game and right so we're happy to see the volume moving right uh we're gonna treat ourselves to some arby's yes why not i haven't <laughs> had arby's in forever years. two years year oh longer than that for me when i worked at williamson employment which was when Whoa, we started five dating. years ago ten years ago yeah yeah i haven't had them in a long time too but longer it's on the way and i'm hungry and whatever uh you want to watch us order? <laughs> Just kidding. Here we are. Okay, okay, give us a minute. Uh, made it to our warehouse. We're going to pull and pack orders. Get that taken care of. We're going to pack up a lot of those posh sales. It's going to make it a lot easier on Monday. I think we're at 20 sales right now on posh. So that's awesome. Before we do that, let's pull some highlights and go over what we found. That's my favorite one. Yeah, that's the, a good one. The, all those toys. <laughs> Still trying to figure out if I want to. Is there something inside of there? It feels like it. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So this is what's valuable. Okay. And here's an example of like you know what they make. Oh, nice. Yeah. I saw some of the '90s like the actual goose stuff. A closed bottle that's black sold for hundred and twenty dollars. Oh my gosh. And I know there's some that came with the set. But, yeah. yeah I guess you kind of need it to make the things. Oh, is this like a baking oven? Yeah, so oh, you, bake, okay. you, you fill in the molds. It's like an easy bake oven for little boys. Oh, okay. That's I got gotcha. you. That's the best way to it, you know. Instead of cookies, they make monsters. Right. So I saw some cons for these bigger ones. They're like 10 bucks a piece. Um, so I don't know. We'll we'll find a place for the hard goods. Um, we still have no idea what we'll do with them. We'll definitely sell them. But I don't know if we're going to spend a lot of time, you know, testing it and things like that. Uh, we, I don't know. I have no idea. So that's one thing. So five dollars for all of it is a pretty crazy steal. Yeah, is there any of the goose stuff? Not that I see. Maybe it's in a different bag. I thought I. Dinosaur. Rawr. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, maybe it's in there. I don't know. Uh, from the first sale, so these North Face uh, kids boys jackets should fetch about you know anywhere from like thirty to fifty bucks. Like I mentioned, she wanted fifteen. I offered uh, ten. There's a Uniqlo uh, down jacket, uh, not a crazy brand, but still for five bucks it should fetch like thirty, you know, in the right season. These are fine. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll have to look up comps. I still don't know what these are worth, but for five bucks, why not? Really nice condition. Salomon, anything usually is a good uh, pickup. Yeah, these are um, women's ones. I don't think they're anything crazy, but this is a really good time to sell rollerblades if you find them. They usually don't sit very long. You know, the weather gets nice. People want to be out doing things like that. So 
Um, I think we paid five for these as well. They're my size, but I'm not a rollerblader. Yeah, you have your uh, your your life full of skating. That's right. I did order actually some like knee pads and like arm pads for myself, but I don't know. I probably won't even have time enough to get. Yes, you will. You'll be great. I have a child. You found this jacket. Oh yeah, um, it's just a plus size, lands and bubble, you know, good condition. She wanted eight for it, so that's yeah. fair. Nice. Probably still up for around 40. Nice. Yeah, it's a long one. Yeah. The Sorel boots, uh, eight bucks, like new condition. Should be able to fetch about 20, maybe more for them. Again, in the right season. What's that? What could that be? Don't just dump them out and make the loudest noise no, ever. There's other stuff. Uh, All right. Well, while you're unpacking that, I'll keep going here. Another one of those uh, North Face for 10. Highlights and then we just go through everything. Yeah, yeah. everything's a <laughs> highlight. Dispo me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, shoes. Yeah, five bucks for brand new Skechers. Uh, three for these ones. Nike. I think I might. I'm not gonna call them new, but they are basically new. The Revere Re 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 was two bucks a pop. Um, and obviously yeah. it's worth a, a bit more than two bucks, right. even if we're in a rougher condition. We've sold this 12 inch um, pan before by itself anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I think everything had a lid, so I thought I saw some of that goo stuff. I really want to find the goo stuff. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Is it maybe inside of I don't know, because we got a graphing calculator from her too, and I don't see that. Found a easy, you know, 60 bucks free ship or a 50 plus ship graphing calculator for 10 bucks. It does have the original box and the transfer cable. I really want to find a goose. We're on a mission. Maybe we just don't have it. Are you sure you saw it? I'm pretty sure I saw it. So we're going to clear this area up, put everything in a spot, get to work. I found the goo. Actually, Melinda found the goo. But there's goo. The goo is actually valuable. Uh, it's safe, non-toxic. 1994 glow plastic goop. And like Melinda said, it still moves. So I assume it's still good. I'm just glad I found it. <laughs> uh, we need to find a spot for all of it. So we're going to go find a spot for all of it. That thing was about to crash, so I put those boxes there. <laughs> oh, no. So hopefully it stays. Oh my gosh. Until we redo it. But it's a little fine. warm in here. It is a little warm in here. It's a solid 76 degrees. Holy moly. Um, Where are you going to put just, it? Maybe just corn it right here for now because it's oh. not really being used. Right. I remember this conversation. Let's what? put it in this corner. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, mean, I don't know. You, for now, it's good. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. We have all the orders pulled, uh, 31 or 32, something like that. We're not going to do any highlights uh, today just because the video would get too long, but a lot of this stuff on Poshmark, we sold between like 12 and $20, like a good amount of it, but there's some decent ones in there too that sold for like 25, 35, 50, and so on and so forth. I'm going to get all this packed up right now and uh, get out of here. We've got everything packed up. We have to make it to the post office yet today. We also have to finish up some listing for this weekend. It's a wildly busy weekend, unfortunately, leading right up until, until Adina is leaving. So there's a lot to get done in a very short amount of time. We're going to go take care of that. Thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Next time we promise to have the GoPros prepared and ready so we get better footage. And we'll see you on that one. If you can, take a moment to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again to everybody who watched this. Until next time, you guys, take care. Right there is the box I was looking for. This has the uh, SD card. So, GoPros, next garage sales uh, for sure. Promise.